All right, sugar is the new evil in our battle for health. When I say new evil, it's an evil which has been around for quite some time. But how much of this stuff is hiding inside seemingly healthy food like yogurt and cereal? It's a lot more than you might think. You might be surprised. As Damon Gamow discovered when he made that sugar film, that Sugar Film, which premieres tonight at the New Zealand International Film Festival. He decided to use his own body as a scientific experiment, consuming 40 teaspoons of sugar a day for 60 days. No sweets, no fizzy drink, just so-called healthy options. The impact on his body was both frightening and remarkably fast, and he's here to tell us how it wa- how it went. Um, Damon, good morning. Morning. I mean, you look fine. Thanks. You look healthier than me. Thank you. I'm back now. When, I didn't look healthy for a while. How did it? How long did it take to come good once you stopped taking it? Well, that was probably the big surprise of the film is that I stopped the experiment and just re- removed the sugar again, went back to my normal diet, and in just 60 days, I turned around fatty liver disease, pre-diabetes, you heart turned disease. turned it around. Yes, that's right. And lost um, 90% of the weight all in two months. So that is the good news story in this. The yeah. good news story is you can do something about it. That's if, right. If and there's science it. now backing that up, that this fatty liver can be reversed very, very quickly. And is, yeah. is your movie like like the supersize me version of sugar. Yeah, very similar. I mean, yeah. I kind of, I guess the catch is that I don't eat any junk food, so I don't have soft drink or lollies or ice cream or confectionery. I'm only eating the hidden sugars okay. found in foods. And so this is the, this is what I found most interesting about your plot, about what you decided yeah. to do. Um, it wasn't like Morgan Spurlock who thought, I'll go out and I'll just eat as much big, as many Big Macs as possible and see what happens. You went out of your way to only eat the healthy options. That's right. I mean, I think a lot of these products, parents probably give their kids thinking they're doing the right thing. They're very very cleverly marketed. Um, there's slogans on the front. There's pictures of bees and flowers and sunsets, and it uses words like nature's bounty. And yeah. we think it's healthy. And quite often, these products have just as much, if not more, sugar in them than some of the junk foods. So the sorts of things you were drinking would be what? I'd have like um, flavoured milks, um, sports drinks, uh, vitamin waters, juices. I mean, some juices, apple juice, cranberry juice, have more sugar in them than Coca-Cola. Yeah. Oh, it's extraordinary, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Right. And I mean, you were eating foods that people might think were healthy, like the yogurts and things that's like right. that. That's right. Muesli bars, snacks on those kind of things. I mean, people need to understand that, you know, like one tablespoon of barbecue sauce has two teaspoons of sugar in it. So really, we're not trying to demonise sugar or say you have to cut it out completely. It's about raising awareness so that if you do want to have your ice cream at the end of the day, that's great, but maybe don't have the low-fat yoghurt and the apple juice as well because that's what's getting your count up to 30 or 40 teaspoons a day. If you take nothing else away from this program today than that one fact, one tablespoon of barbecue sauce Mm. has two teaspoons of sugar in it. That's right, yeah. Um, Now, you were perhaps the wrong person to do this because from what I was reading about you, you were already off sugar. Yeah. I mean, so when you started taking in a lot of sugar, mm-hmm. you were doing it from a ground zero point of view. Exactly. Your body had very little sugar in it. Yeah, so I mean, understandably, I'm going to get quite dramatic results because mm-hmm. I suddenly just overloaded my body. But the symptoms that I developed over that time, the pre-diabetes and the fatty liver and the, um, and the heart disease, is what we're seeing now from people that are having a lifetime of eating these foods and they're developing, them, developing at a younger age in their 30s and 40s, whereas I got it in a very condensed way. Can you just in a really condensed way, can you mm. talk me through your transformation once you started to take in all the sugar? Uh, well, yeah, the first 12 days I'd put on three kilos. So that was kind of the big first alarm. Then after 18 days, I developed fatty liver disease. And that was when really the whole film went to another level. I'd put on five kilos uh, after the first month. In the end, I put on eight and a half kilos, pre-diabetic, heart disease risks, fatty liver, and 10 centimetres of visceral fat around my waist, which is the dangerous fat. And I guess the real surprise was, A, that I, my calorie intake was the same as before I started the experiment and also the effect on my moods and cognition. There's a lot of um, studies out and nothing to report the effect of foods on our mental behaviour and concentration and especially when you think of kids that are given these high sugar uh, cereal breakfasts without their parents knowing it, then they're struggling to learn and concentrate in class. Yeah, yeah. It's a topic we need to discuss because there is a massive effect on, on cognition. Now this could have ended two ways. Um, it ended because you chose you know, you saw all these devastating things and you chose to come off it. Yeah. Would the film have been better if you'd died? Probably, yeah. Um, yeah, I think more dramatic <laughs> No, Hillary, don't look like that. <laughs> I might it have made your list, maybe down a, the track. You could have made, yeah. yeah. And, and Hillary would have said, oh, 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 Damon Gamow is alive. And I'd say, no, no, no he, no, he died. died. He died. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's the sequel. He died sugar, in the sequel. Sugar killed him. Yeah. Um, but that's interesting, isn't it? Because yeah. the, the, the second less desirable ending, where you come mm. off it, and 
and you you improve remarkably quickly. That's right. Is also a shock. Yeah, and I think look, what's great about the film is that, and we've, it's been so well received in Australia, is that you know it's not fear based. We're trying to inspire people, educate people to go home and take power again, and sort mm. of not believe all these kind of company slogans and, and the marketing hype. Get back to just eating real foods. You know, you don't have to quit Brilliant. sugar. You don't have to cut it out altogether. Just be more aware of where it's hidden, so that you can be smarter with your choices. All right, Damon, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, uh, Damon Gamo. The book is out in good bookstores, and the movie, and this is the real reason we talked about it today, is on tonight. Premieres tonight at the New Zealand International Film Festival.